Hello everyone, I'm back again to film another storing and organizing photo card video. So I have a bunch of cards here that I have not put away yet. Most of them I showed in my most recent collective haul. Um, I think actually mostly everything here should, should have been in that haul or maybe the haul prior to that. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of Stray Kids, some ATs, and a few other miscellaneous cards here, including my first NMIX card which is a new collection I'm starting. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll get started. I'm gonna start with my Stray Kids um, album PC binder. So I recently posted a video where I reorganized my Stray Kids collection a bit, and I separated all of my album PCs and my non-album PCs into two separate binders. So I have some album PCs, the jewel case ordinary ones that I'm gonna put away first, and then I'll probably do the non-album stuff and then ATs and everyone else. So we'll start here with my album PC binder and I'll go back to the ordinary section. Uh, I might zoom in a little bit actually. So this is my page for the jewel case cards. And I have the five that I'm missing to put away. So I got one of these I bought from someone on Instagram. And then the other four I got in a group order that I had joined um, for some of the fan sign call um, photo cards. And then I got some of the album photo cards as well. I honestly didn't plan to collect OT8 for the jewel cases but they were easier to come by this time versus for no easy, probably because the jewel cases were less expensive. Um, and then people were doing the fan sign calls. Uh, so it seemed like a lot of people were selling them this time around. So there's that full complete set. Oh my goodness, I'm actually fully done OT8 Ordinary now. So I have all of the regular album cards done. All of the units and now the jewel cases oh my god so exciting so I guess oh my gosh yeah back here I have my Japan cards so next hopefully I'll be getting some circus cards in which by the way I'm so obsessed with circus the music video is one of my favorites of theirs now um, I love the whole concept and the song has been stuck in my head non-stop since it came out so I'm going to grab my non-album PC binder now. I still haven't decorated the cover of this album or this binder, but eventually I hope to. Okay, so what I want to do first is I actually think I need to grab a new page. And I think I'm going to put this new page at the very front. So the reason being is there's another uh, OT8 set from In Life that I want to collect. And it's one of my favorite sets. So I want to make it the first page. And it's this With Drama Hollow photo card set. So I have three here and there are a few I had already. So I already had this Hyunjin. And then, oh, not that one. I have this Chan one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to fill up this page. I kind of decided on a whim to collect this OT8 set. Um, I got this Yunjin in a trade quite a while ago and I've just been hanging on to it since I love this card so much. And then I collected I wanted to collect my bias line, so I recently got Mino and G Sung's as well, and I already had Chan's. Um, and then the G Sung I bought, it came with Chungbin's in a set, like the seller was only selling them together. So I was like, okay, well, I'll get his as well. And now at this point, I'm only missing three, so I figure I might as well just get all eight. I feel like for me, once I go past the point of having four or five from an OT8 set. I'm like, well, I should just get all of them. Um, and I do have Jongin's coming. I just need to find Felix and Sungmin and then I'll have the set complete. 
I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the empty slots with some fillers. But, oh my god, I love this page so much already. Ah, These cards are so cute. Now, if I had all the money in the world, I would love to collect the other version of this set, like the limited version, because this set, like, it's above and beyond this one even. Like, I love the limited set so, so much, but those ones are so expensive. Like, I think this one is probably one of my most expensive Lino cards, if not my most expensive one. And I know, like, finding some of the members for this set would be near impossible. So I'm just going to stick with this one. Um, but I'm so happy to have, like, even these five already. So exciting. Okay, next. I will have to do a bit of rearranging, I guess, to fill these empty spots, but I'll worry about that later. So, no easy. I do have a couple no easy cards to put away. So, I have these two with fans ones. And these are from round three. So, they're just going to go at the bottom of this page. I'm still missing a couple from round one and then round two. I don't know if I ever got around to getting a Jisung one, but I know I definitely have Mino and Jisung from round one coming. Um, so I just need to find these two Jisung ones, hopefully to fill the page at some point. So those are there for now. And then I do have a Christmas Evil card. Hmm. I have this one here which is Mino's Interpark one I believe so I know yeah this one is Chan's Interpark one so I'm just gonna put it below his so there's that full page and then next I feel like I'm moving through things quite quick um, but I have a couple more Ordinary cards to put away. I do have a lot of Ordinary Pobs coming in the mail that I haven't gotten yet. Um, so I will be adding some more pages in here for sure. Um, how do I want to do this? I do have a couple of Lucky Draws. I'm just going to make this my Lucky Draw page. I have these two G-Sungs from round one. Um, and I do have Chan and Minos on the way. And then I have these two Chans from round two. Um, I haven't gotten uh, any of Mino or Jisung's from round two. So what I'm going to do actually with this page is I'll do um, the three from round one at the top, the three from round one also at the bottom, and then I'll just put my two Chans in the middle just to kind of make it an eight pattern on this page. And I'll put an empty filler in the middle. Um, that way, whenever these other four come in, it'll just be a full page. I don't know if I'll um, be getting the other round two lucky draws for the other two. So for now, I'll just do this. And I'm actually going to grab another page. And I'll put it before the lucky draws. So... Next, I have the Sub K fan sign cards and the My Music Taste fan sign cards. So these will all be going away. I'm gonna definitely have to reorganize this whole pop section at some point once I get everything in because um, I haven't even really counted up how many of each member I'm going to have or how many pages they'll fill. So I'm just kind of putting them away um, just to get them in my binder, basically, and then I'll worry about organizing everything later. Because I might decide to, like, match up cards where they're in similar outfits or something like that, um, just to keep them together. And then I also have this Chan card. It's his Hot Tracks pre-order benefit. Um, again, I don't really have a spot for this right now, so I'm just gonna put them at the bottom of this page. And we'll figure out 
where I want to put them later. So yeah, once I get everything else in for Ordinary, then I'll probably do a big reorganization of this section, but that's what I have for now. And then we can go into the merch cards and I'm gonna go ahead and grab another page. So in my May collective haul, I showed that I got the Stay in London photo book finally. Um, and again, I've decided to collect OT8 for these Stay in London photo cards. I already had my bias line cards because um, I've, I've wanted Stay in London for the longest time, but I never thought I would be able to find it with the photo card inclusions. But the set that I bought did come with some of the photo cards. It ended up coming with uh, Mino and Jisung, which I already have. So I had those up for trade to get some of the other members. And then I ended up buying one or two. So I'm trying to complete the set. I have all of them with me or on the way now. Um, the only one I'm missing now is Felix. And once I get Felix, then I'll have this set complete. So the others that I have with me right now are Changbin and Hyunjin. Oh my god, I love this set so much. Again, I never thought I would get this full set. I kind of had a hard enough time just finding my bias line. And now I'm so close. Um, and this also came with um, the little Polaroid photo cards. I have Jisung's here. I also have Felix's, which I have up for trade to try and get Chan or Amino. Um, I don't really know where I want to put him. I might just put him on this page, which is kind of miscellaneous um, merch cards. So he can just go up here for now. Um, and again, I might reorganize this page. Actually, I'll just do it a little bit now. I'm just going to put these three at the top and then I'll keep the three Polaroids at the bottom just to kind of even out the page. And then I'll probably put fillers here at some point. But yeah, this one's underway. Okay, next I have some Polaroids which can go back here. And again, I'm going to grab a new page. I might need two new pages, I'll just put one for now. Um, but I have a bunch of the Stray Kids Chocolate Factory Polaroids. So I do have these three for Chan. I have his other ones on the way that I'm missing. And then I have four Mino and I have the one I'm missing on the way as well. And then I have three Jisung. I'm not sure if I'm gonna collect all of Jisung's or I might just keep these three but I need to figure out how I want to store these. I thought about doing them in rows, kind of like how I do the rest of my collection, where I'll do like them lined up like this, which I kind of like, um, but knowing that I'm going to have kind of incomplete sets since I'm not collecting everything for Jisung kind of throws me off. I could do something like that. Mm. Or I could put all of Chan's together and then all of Mino's together and all of Jisung's together. Hmm. Let's see. I might do that actually. Just to keep them all together. So I'll put this Chan. So there's three with the blue border for each member, and then there's only two with the checkered border. So I'm just gonna put the checkered border ones, which were the Skizu ones here, and I'll leave these two spots open for the other two blue border ones. And then I'm gonna put these three for Mino at the bottom. Um, and then I'll grab another page. Again, I might end up reorganizing this a bit um, once I get the rest in. Could 
because you know I'm gonna have like what do I put two Mino at the top it's kind of awkward hmm. I'm just gonna put them all in here for now and I'm going to worry about organizing it later I think because I also have some Polaroids from like their previous fan meetings and season's greetings and stuff in here and I don't love how it's organized. Maybe I need to watch some people's collections and see how they store their Polaroids and get some better ideas, but that'll do for now. They're in there at least. And then last for this binder, I have some Nasific cards. Um, so actually one thing I need to change is I did have this OT8 set minus Sungman. I was missing his because I traded it um, and it was bothering me that I had an incomplete set and I think rather than keeping OT8 for the lenticulars I just decided I'm going to go ahead and sell or trade the other ones so I'm just going to keep my bias line for this set and I'll keep this OT8 set but otherwise um, yeah, I'm just going to keep my bias line for the lenticulars. And yeah, because I don't need OT8 for Nasific. I'm not trying to collect OT8 for Nasific. So I'm going to just shift a couple of these sets. Actually, I'll keep this one on this page. But what I'll do is I'm going to take these double sided ones and put them on this page with the lenticulars. I'm gonna move the lenticulars in the middle. And then I have a few more of the double-sided ones to put away. So I'll do like a row of the double-sided at the top, at the bottom, and then the lenticulars in the middle. And their outfits kind of match better with these versions, or I think they are the same. So, okay, which one do I want in the front? They're both so cute. And then there's this one. I don't know which set this Jisung is from. I think it's from the same set as these two. So I'll put him here. And then I think I'm missing this Jisung, so I'll have to find him. But then I think this page will be really cute then since they're all in the same outfits and everything. And I'll keep this OT8 set. And then this can be for any new stuff going forward. So that's everything for this binder. I feel like that was quite a lot, but yeah, it's a good thing I separated my non-album from my album stuff because I've been adding a lot lately. I'm still so excited about this set too. Okay, I'm going to grab my miscellaneous and ATs binder and we'll finish things off. All right, last binder for today. I know I did talk about reorganizing my ATs collection and I still plan to do that. Um, I just bought some more Mingi cards on Instagram, so I'm gonna wait till they come in and then maybe I'll do a little reorganizing video. So for Fever Part 2, I have the last Songwa card I need. This one, unfortunately, is a damaged card, like it's bent in the middle, but it was like a couple dollars only and I figured once it's in my binder, you won't really be able to tell. Um, so yeah, there's that full complete set finally finished. And then I have some Fever Epilogue cards. So I have this Songwa to put away. So he will go up here. I feel like it's taking me so long to complete this set, but I've kind of been taking a break from buying as many PCs lately. So just missing two now for Songwa, so we'll get there. And then I'm gonna flip to Yuno's section. And for Yuno, I have the last two cards I need for Fever Epilogue, so that's very exciting. Okay. 
and he's done at last. And then Mingi, my most recent addition to my AT's collection. I do have one card for him as well. So which row does he go? And he'll go here. And yeah, I bought a bunch more Mingi cards. I found someone on Instagram selling some for like $3 each. So I think I bought like four or five uh, Mingi cards from this album. So they'll be coming in soon too. Um, I do have some non-album cards. So this is my non-album you know page or one of them. Um, where do I want to put this? So I have this card, which is from Fever Part 3. So where do I want to put this? I might rearrange a bit. I need to get more dragon shield sleeves. That's what I use for my like non-album cards, but they're kind of expensive and I keep running out so fast. So I do need to get more though. So for now he'll go in without a sleeve, but I'm just gonna put him here after the other Fever Part 3 cards. And then I have a couple others. So for Yuno and Songwa, I have these cards. These were from My Music Taste for each of the tour dates. So they're like the travel package. I have the Chicago and New York ones. I went to the Chicago tour date. So I wanted to get those ones. And then the New York ones were just really, really cute. So I got both. I'll just put them in here as well. And I'll add song was to his non-album page. Oh, perfect. I have two empty slots left. I might reorganize this page. I'm going to put all of the pink songwa cards in the middle. Just because I think it'll look cute. <laughs> oh, I love this page. Okay, so those are in there. Oh, I need to sleeve on that. <laughs> Actually, I think, no, that's not one. Okay. Next. I have a couple more things to add to my AT section. So I'm gonna grab, how many pages do I need? I think I need two pages. So I have the photo cards from their a t &E fan kit. Again, I want to sleeve these, but I don't have any left right now, so eventually I will. But these cards are so cute, oh my goodness. I will put them away back here. I did an unboxing for this fan kit as well, if you're curious what else came inside. whole photo card set is so cute though. So there's that. And then it also came with some ID photos. So I just have these in little white sleeves. And there's those in there. So that's all I have today for 80s. Um, I just have a few other miscellaneous ones to put away now. All right, let's 
see what's next. Okay, I'm just gonna flip back a little bit. I have a Pentagon card I can put away. So I have this from Invite You, this Gino card. And I'm just gonna put him here. Um, I don't really plan to collect other cards. Actually, I'm gonna put it here. Um, yeah, I don't collect Pentagon fully. So I just have these ones and that's all I'll keep for that album. And then, yeah, whenever they have their next comeback, I'll add some more in here. Okay, next to go away, I have a couple The Boys cards. I think if I remember correctly, my The Boys section's like full. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, actually, I do have... No, I have a slot here. So I might take this out and add it with my pre-order benefit cards. No, my pre-order benefit card page is full too. Okay. Um, how do I want to store this then? I guess I'll just grab another new page. <laughs> I didn't really plan to. So I actually saw the boys in concert last weekend. Uh, my friend and I went to the Newark show, a couple of my friends and I. And oh my God, it was so much fun. Um, we had like 10th row floor seats. So we were super close and the show was just so, so great. Oh my God, I had so much fun. But yeah, I just have those two Chani cards to put away for now. I did get a unit card in that album, which I plan to trade. And then I got a duplicate of this Kevin ID. So I uh, don't need to store that. So I'm just have those two for now. And then Last to put away, I just have this Enmix Lily card. Since this is a new collection for me, um, I don't really have a place to store it yet and I haven't really thought about where I wanna put it. So, hmm, like I guess I gotta decide how close to the front of my binder I'm gonna wanna go. I might put her close to the front for now, um, just cause it's a collection I hope to work on a bit recently. Um, so I'm just gonna put her here. I'll grab another page. And I actually bought another one of her album cards. So I have my second card on the way. Um, and then I did buy one of her cards in like one of her fan sign cards in Acclaim quite a while ago. So hopefully that'll be coming in soon. So I have a little bit coming for Enmix, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, otherwise that's all I have for today. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed my last couple of videos and haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you did. And hopefully you'll be back for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.